We're lifting up holy hands with our wrath for doubt. In the sanctuary of the Lord, all to praise you, magnify you, Lord. We're lifting up holy hands. Good morning. And God bless you. Welcome to your five-minute spiritual checkup. I am Evangelist Kelly Harrison. Satan is trying to destroy as many of God's people as he possibly can. He is trying to do this by destroying your reputation attacking your finances, attacking your health, putting people in your life that will cause you to live in an ungodly manner. He is on the offensive and it is all because he can read the signs of the time just as well as we can. Time is drawing nigh. Jesus is soon to come. But we must remember the words that Jesus spoke to Peter. Luke 22, 31 and 32 reads, And the Lord said, Simon, Simon, behold, Satan hath desired to have you, that he may sift you as wheat. But I have prayed for thee, that thy faith fail not. And when thou art converted, strengthen thy brethren. Satan wants to destroy us. He wants to aggravate us. He wants to make us angry. He wants to cause us to sin. But Jesus has said, he has prayed even for us that our faith fell not. The way that we defeat the enemy is to draw closer to God. Draw closer to him in our prayer life, in our consecration, in our fasting, in our times of devotion, in our Bible study time. We must draw closer to God. And the closer we get to God, the stronger we become. But Jesus said also, that when thou art converted, strengthen thy brethren. So when you become strong, when you can resist the enemy, when you can defeat him because you are at a place with God and you accept the authority that you have, he has given you to, to cast out demons, to pray for the sick, to even drink any deadly thing and it will not harm you. He's given you this authority. Once you re realize the authority that you have in him, then help someone else. Help someone who is weak. Help someone who needs strengthening. Let us pray. Father God, you are the creator of the universe. There is nothing that is too hard for you. We worship you. We magnify you. We glorify your holy and matchless name because we know that you and you alone are God. Lord, strengthen us to resist the devil so that he may flee from us. Strengthen us to be able 
to have on our armor and to do battle against the enemy at all times. Lord, encamp your angels around about us so that they will help us to be kept. And Lord, in everything we ask, that you would allow the words of our mouths and the meditations of our hearts to be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, our strength and our Redeemer. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen.